Where was the guy that opened the Robinhood account to eat like a traitor? Fuck, I'm never- Where is X250? He had a link. Did this guy ever post again or did he actually kill himself? Are you saying not to invest in Twitter? No, you should never- be, Listen, if you have a real fucking retirement account or you've got a real savings account and you don't know what you're doing, you should never be buying individual stock. That's the one piece of unqualified bullshit ass advice you shouldn't be taking from me that I'll give you. Don't ever fucking buy- Don't buy individual stocks. Holy shit. And faggot. Oh, he faked his shit. Unbelievable. On the same account. On the same account, he faked his shit. Get real, dude. Yes, Cloud9RC. That's what I'm looking for. Do you have the thread? Oh, fuck. He stopped me. He's gone forever. Oh, shit. <laughs> he shorted Facebook. Did Facebook have a huge earnings or something? <laughs> Rip. To record highs. Whew! So shorting, the idea of shorting is selling a stock, um, the idea of shorting is you plan on, you plan on the stock going down, right? If you, if I, I don't know how many people fucking care about this shit. Um, short selling is, um, just cause we're talking about this now, I don't, cause whatever. So if somebody, let's say, um, let's say that a stock is worth $10 and you know that stock is going to be worth $5 tomorrow. So you do something called a short sell. So you purchase a contract saying, um, what is it? It's a contract saying that I can sell you this stock at ten dollars or something the idea would be that you buy you buy an option wait was, is there a difference between options trading and short and short selling or shorting the same as options trading fuck i, I mix all this shit up basically the idea is somebody gives you security for ten dollars you kind of sell that security and then tomorrow you buy it back and then give it back to them kind of right it's kind of like the idea behind it right and you make money on it um but but it, but it's more complicated with options trading right you have like a contract to sell the stock back at the price it was worth the day before and since the price is plummeted on it selling it selling that contract back is worth more than the security is worth now and that's where you make your money but then you don't actually sell it back you only sell the contracts i don't know why exactly you never actually execute any of the of the contracts that you buy you just sell them <clears throat> a short is an option yeah it's not you should you can short on cash markup but most people prefer futures or options i think that what i the latter thing i described would be an option but short selling would be something that you would have to do on a cash market i don't do any derivatives trading at all i don't i don't fucking know anything about this shit yeah, options are nice because options, depending on the company, options can have massive upsides, which is what makes them. Options are how you go from having $1,000 in your account one day to $150,000 in your account, like, six trades later or whatever. Like, but, but obviously, there's a lot of downside as well, right? You could just lose it all. Shorting just, yeah, so shorting would be like you buy a security for $10, you sell it immediately for $10, and then tomorrow the stock drops to $5, and then you buy it back for $5, and then you return the security back to whoever you bought it from, and, and whenever the, whenever you have to, I think, right? There was another Reddit dude that I wanted to check up on to see if he ever posted again, but I don't remember who it was. Fuck me, dude. I can't even wrap my head around all that shit, it just seems they're all playing with imaginary money. I, yeah, I think that you can make a lot of arguments for the markets that existing that exist today are pretty far removed from what a stock market should be. I don't know. And I I don't want to say in my personal opinion because I'm not really educated enough to give a personal opinion about it, but in, in my uninformed and uneducated opinion, um the whole derivative market seems like a big waste of money. Like it's only I don't know, it just seems like it shouldn't exist, but uh, I don't know enough to really the market is near its historical high right now. Certain markets are still good, are still good places though. No, yeah, yeah. I don't think there's anything wrong with trading stocks. It's just when you start talking about all the like derivatives trading and all that shit that goes on, it seems like um, like I really, I really shouldn't be talking about this. Um, I'll, I guess I'll just preface it with that. The stock market seems like it was a place where companies could go to some place to offer um to wall street right to offer citizens access to invest in those companies like this is what um this is what the stock market it, it seems like it was supposed to be like hey this company is going to sell you shares of itself and now you can buy it if you want to invest in a company you can do it and that's what the stock market was kind of it seemed like it was supposed to be right it, it connected consumers with companies let you invest in said companies right but now it seems like the stock market has become way more self-serving and has grown into this weird thing where like, I don't know, like when you when you have, 
I don't know. And now it's become like some people gamble like hardcore with fucking futures trading and you've got people doing these crazy fucking derivatives and these insanely fucking over leveraged positions and all this crazy ass fucking shit being passed around and all those different kinds of debt and investments being sliced up and passed around as CDOs and all sorts of other crazy fucking packages. Like, I don't know. It seems like it became. And then at the end of the day, like this is a this is an industry. Wall Street walks away with a lot of money. Right. There's um, there's a lot of fucking money that leaves this place. So it's like, where does that money come from? Like, does, at, at what point does Wall Street just kind of become a leech on the economy rather than something that facilitates economic growth? At what point is it just leeching value from the markets without actually providing a value for, for consumers or businesses, right? Instead, it just provides the value for themselves and it becomes self-serving, right? I don't know. That just seems like... that. But that's like my... That's just the gut feeling I get from the very, 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 very little I know about it, right? There's My opinion on it is completely and totally uneducated, but... The derivative market is essentially a gambling market on the stock market. Yeah, kind of. But I mean, but it takes money from the economy too, right? Like, I don't know. Investors help businesses. That's how. Okay. Tell me how people trading f futures helps your business grow. Virus, go. I'm genuinely asking. Tell me how somebody trading futures helps your company grow. Liquidity in the market is the biggest fucking meme, dude. That's not true. No, come on, dude. Liquidity? That's the argument that HFTs use for like, well, why? Look at how look at how tight the spread is, dude. Um, look at this fucking. Look at all the liquidity I provide. While we're making hundreds of millions of dollars a year. While our fucking high speed trading is so important that we're literally laying our own fucking dedicated fiber to shave fucking 10 milliseconds off of our fucking trade times over the fucking ocean to London. But the liquidity. How important is the liquidity for you? It's so fucking important. When I wake up every day and I fucking run to my fucking Vanguard account and I need to sell, sell, sell every fucking EFT, every fucking security that I own, I've got to fucking sell. Oh God, but the liquidity is there and I can dump all of my fucking stocks immediately. It feels so fucking good, dude. What would I do without the liquidity that the multi fucking billion trillion dollar financial markets provide? Thank God. Oh, thank God. Oh, for that liquidity. Oh God, yeah. Oh yeah, because you all know the best place for your liquid fucking investments is the fucking is is the fucking stock market, right? Mm. Oh, sorry. Whew. My bad, dude. I don't buy that. Um, I've heard it said before, but I don't know. I don't think I buy the liquidity argument. But yeah, I don't know. I don't. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't believe that liquidity is a giant meme. I just don't know if the massive amounts of money leaving to Wall Street is worth the little bit more of liquidity that you get on weird like uh, like do i need liquidity to trade anything on the s p 500 or the nasdaq or like the dow jones do i really need the liquidity that hfts provide there like am i really getting like am i is it <clears throat> like are you telling me it's going to take me like multiple days to sell or purchase a share in like apple or facebook or some shit if hfts weren't there to tighten the spread like is, is that really going to happen like I'm, I don't. I don't believe that. I could be wrong, dude. And I'm telling you, um, I, I'm telling you that I'm woefully uneducated. But <clears throat> Destiny subscriber count per day. What is this? Destiny. It's a question of the size of the spread, not the amount of time. Well, but oh fuck, I'm talking so much shit. Isn't wouldn't a larger spread mean that you're probably going to wait a bit, a little bit longer for a trade to execute? Isn't that kind of right? Aren't, th aren't those things kind of tied together? And also, like, um, is there really going to be a huge spread on, um, on like, on, on massively popular stocks? Are, are there, are there, like, do you really think the spread on like Twitter or Facebook on these ultra high volume securities is really going to be that massive? Is that really true? Like. And if there was a massive spread and you eliminated that spread via HFT, wouldn't it be better? Wouldn't, wouldn't you want people making money on the spread rather than these giant fucking algo writers and fucking Wall Street? Like, I, I don't know, dude. I, like I said, I'm, I'm horribly uneducated. I'm giving opinions here that you should never pair it to anybody else because I don't know fuck all. It depends on the price of the stock. Oh, what, like Class A shares of like Berkshire Hathaway might have a, um, or A class? I don't even might have like a reasonably large spread. What do I even look at for these shit? B R K A price. You're saying that like maybe the spread on these would be kind of I don't know, dude. I'm not sure, man. 
buy out Warren Buffett. What a fucking piece of shit. The market is at all time highs and you're lagging behind your fucking share price in 2014? The fuck is wrong with you? We could drive by. We I should take the camera. We can go to fucking um We could go to the dude's um We could go to um Warren Buffett's house. He lives near me. Do you think he would fucking subscribe? Do you think he would tear four to my stream? Do you think we're finally going back up or is the market gonna lag like it has been for the past two fucking years? Unfucking believable. I guess not two years. I should only say like one and a half years. Market at all time high. What is inflation? Okay, we love brownies. Yes. Really, the market is at all time lows, but inflation has just tricked us into thinking. July of last year's um, S and P five hundred was nineteen sixty seven. If we inflate by three percent, that's adding what like sixty points. So we would expect it to be twenty thirty. And it's at 2166. Fucking kill yourself. 